Hello viewers, in the previous video on polynomials, I have completed factor theorem and I have explained sums of 2D. In this video, I am going to discuss about factorization of algebraic expression. Now what is factorization? It means writing the given expression as a product of its factors. These factors can be numbers, variables or an algebraic expression. Say for example, 2ix plus 4 is an algebraic expression. Now, if I can express this one as product of its factors, then that will be factorization. Now, out of 2 ix and 4, 2 is common, so we can write 2. So, we are left with x plus 2. So, we have expressed this algebraic expression as 2 into x plus 2. So, that means I have factorized this algebraic expression. Now, let me give another example. Here, expression is x square plus 2x. Now, x square is one term, 2ix is another term, and x is common. So, if we just write x outside as x is common, here we are left with another x, because here it is x square, one x I have written here, another x left, plus out of 2x, x I have taken common, so here 2 is left. So, this algebraic expression I have written as product of x into x plus 2, so, I have factorized this algebraic expression. Now, I will explain sums of 2e from Embo's class 9 textbook. Now, in class 8 and 9, all of you have done various identities and some of those identities we have to use while factorizing algebraic expressions. The basic identities which are used generally in case of factorization, number 1 is x plus y whole square. All of you know x plus y whole square is x squared plus 2ice xy plus y squared. Second identity that is needed is x minus y whole square. It will be x squared minus 2ice xy plus y squared. Then, if it is x squared minus y squared, then it will be x plus y into x minus y and the last one that is required is x plus a into x plus b. This is equals to x squared plus a plus b into x plus a into b. In question number 1 of 2e, here question is 18x square y minus 24xyz. Now while factorizing, first you see this numbers 18 and 24. Out of these two numbers, what is the common factor? 6, 3, 18 and 6, 4, 24. So, from these two, we can take 6 common. So, 6 you write outside. Next, out of x square and x, common is x. Out of y and y, we can write y here. So, these are the common factors. Now, what is left? Out of 18, we have taken 6 common. So, 3 left. x square. Already we have taken 1x common. Another x left. And y already we have taken common. Here minus 24. Already we have taken 6. So it will be 4. Because 4, 6 is 24. X and Y already we have taken common. So we are left with Z. That means 6XY into 3X minus 4Z is the required answer. Now in question number 2 it is given. 4X plus Y minus 6X plus Y whole square. Now here we can consider 4 to be 2 into 2. Then X plus Y minus this 6 can be considered as 2 into 3 then x plus y into x plus y as it is given x plus y whole square now we have 2 and x plus y here 2 and x plus y this part is common so we are writing 2 x plus y outside now from this part 2 and x plus y already I have written out so we are left with 2 these two I have written here, minus, now these two and x plus y already written outside, so I are left with 3, then x plus y. This can be written as 2i, x plus y, then 2 minus thrice x, plus minus minus 3y. Since further simplification is not possible, so this is the required answer. Now, I hope question number 3, you can do it yourself. So, I am showing question number 4. Here it is ax minus 5b 
plus AB minus 5X. Now, if you see first term and the second term, out of these two nothing is common. But if I take first and the third, then A is common. So we can rearrange it in the form of AX plus AB minus 5B minus 5X. Now, from first two, I can take A common. If I take A common, then we are left with X plus B. And from last two, if I take minus 5 common, then it will be B plus X. Okay, A into X, AX, A into B, AB. And from this two, I have taken minus 5 common. So, plus minus minus 5B, plus minus minus 5X. Now, X plus B and B plus X, it is the same term. So, this X plus B can be taken common. So, if I take X plus B common, this one and this one I have taken common. So, we are left with A minus 5. So, X plus B into A minus 5 is the required answer. Because this one cannot be further simplified. So, this is the final answer. In question number 5, it is given. Factorize X cube minus X square plus AX plus X minus A minus 1. Now, in this sum, if I take x square common from first two terms, then we will be left with x minus 1. Here, if I take x common, then it will be a plus 1. So, that means common part will not be same. So, we can rearrange this expression as x cube minus x square plus ax minus a plus x minus 1. Just we have taken ax and a together plus x and minus 1 together. If I take x square common, then we are left with x minus 1. From these two, if I take a common, it will be x minus 1. From these two, if I take plus 1 common, it will be x minus 1. Okay? So, x square, x minus 1, a, x minus 1, plus 1, x minus 1. This x minus 1 now can be taken common. So, if I write x minus 1 outside, this, this and this I have taken common. So, we are left with x square plus a plus 1. x square from this plus a plus 1. As x minus 1 already taken outside. So, x minus 1, x square plus a plus 1 is the required answer. In question number 6, it is given that P square plus PQ, then within bracket Q plus 1 plus Q cube, and we have to factorize. In this format, we cannot take anything common, so we will remove this bracket. For this, we are going to write P square plus PQ into Q, Q square, so PQ square plus PQ into 1, PQ plus Q cube. Clear? PQ into Q is PQ square and PQ into 1 is PQ. Now, from first two, P can be taken common. So, if I take P common, then we are left with P plus Q square. From these two, I have taken P common. Here it is P square. Out of two P, one P I have taken. So, another P left plus. From P Q square, P is taken common. So, we are left with Q square. From these two, I can take Q common. So, if I take Q common, it will be P plus Q square. From Q cube, 1 Q is taken common. So, we are left with Q square. So, now P plus Q square and P plus Q square is common. So, this can be written outside. So, P plus Q square, P plus Q square. And we are left with P and Q. So, it will be P plus Q. This cannot be further factorized. So, this is the required answer. Now, in question number 7, it is given A, A minus twice B minus C plus twice BC. This can be written as A into A, A square plus minus minus twice AB plus minus minus AC plus twice BC. We have just removed the bracket. Now, from first two, I can take A common. And from last two, C can be taken common. So, if I take A common from first two, it will be A minus twice B. From A square, one A is outside. So, another A left minus. From here, A is taken common. So, we are left with twice B. From these two, I can take minus C common. If I take minus C, then A minus minus plus twice B. 
Now you check a into a s squared plus minus minus twice a b plus minus minus a c minus minus plus twice b c. Now a minus twice b can be taken common as it is common in both the sections. So we are left with a minus c. Now it cannot be further factorized. So this is the required answer. Yes, question number 8 is just like number 6. So I am not showing. I think you can do it yourself. Let me show question number 9. If you see the question x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 minus 3x plus 3 by x. Now here nothing can be taken common. Since you cannot take anything common from this or this. From here though you can take x common but it won't be helpful. So we are going to change this part in the form of a minus b whole square formula because we know a square plus b square minus twice ab will be a minus b whole square. So instead of this part we can write x square plus 1 by x square minus twice a into b. This x and this x will cancel each other. So this part and this part will be same x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 and this x and x will cancel each other. So overall this is 2 only. Here it will be minus 3x plus 3 by x. Now x square minus twice ab plus b square. This will be a minus b whole square. And we are left with this part which is minus 3x plus 3 by x. Now, x minus 1 by x whole square. From these two, I can take minus 3 common. And if I take minus 3, it will be x minus minus plus 1 by x. Clear? Minus 3 into x minus 3x minus minus plus 3 by x. Now, this x minus 1 by x whole square can be written as x minus 1 by x into x minus 1 by x since square is there so we can write twice minus thrice x minus 1 by x now x minus 1 by x x minus 1 by x can be taken common since they are present in both the terms so we can write x minus 1 by x common so we are left with x minus 1 by x x minus 1 by x minus 3 so we are going to get x minus 1 by x then x minus 1 by x minus 3 which cannot be further simplified so this is the required answer now in question number 10 also like previous sum we have to use a plus b whole square formula instead of 4 a square twice a whole square plus instead of 9 b square i can write 3 b whole square so we got a square plus b square so it will be twice a, B, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. Now 4 A square can be written as 2 A whole square plus 12 A B can be written as twice, twice A into 3 B plus instead of 9 B square I have written 3 B square minus 8 A minus 12 B. We have written in this way so that we can apply A plus B whole square formula. Now this can be written as twice A plus 3 B whole square a square plus twice a b plus b square formula is a plus b whole square minus from 8a and from 12b I can take minus 4 common and if I take minus 4 common it will be twice a plus minus minus 4 to the 8a since minus is taken common it will be plus 3 4 ja 12 and it will be b so it will be twice a plus 3b since square is there we can write twice twice a plus 3b minus 4 times twice a plus 3b now if you see the first term and the second term twice a plus 3b is common since it is common so we can write twice a plus 3b then this one is left so it will be twice a plus 3b minus 4 now, further simplification is not possible, so we are just writing it in the proper order. It will be twice a plus 3b, twice a plus 3b minus 4. 
so twice a plus 3b into twice a plus 3b minus 4 this is the required answer i hope this sums are clear this sums are little bit complicated so practice this sums seriously and that's all for today in the next video i am going to start from number 11 of 2e till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part